a Miami Beach commissioner demanding action tonight. It's after learning that a man arrested for pointing a gun at him and a string of other crimes is on the loose after escaping from a halfway house. He says it is unacceptable and a sign of big problems in Miami-Dade County courts. CBS News Miami's Larry Seward joins us now. And Larry, the mayor and police chief agree. The police chief here, Naja, called this wanted man an engine of crime who was who pulled a gun on a commissioner during a crime spree in this city of Miami Beach. He says his officers worked hard to arrest him. Take a look at this. This is proof of that arrest that happened uh, earlier this year. Police arresting Christopher Petrie after a string of burglaries and assault. Those officers, along with others around Miami-Dade County tonight, are again looking for Petrie. He's 35 years old, homeless, last seen in Homestead at New Hope Court Treatment Center. Yesterday, Petrie took off his court order tracker and left. He's due to stand trial for 10 felonies, including burglary and assault, in April. He allegedly broke into Miami Beach Commissioner Joe Magazine's car and pulled a gun on him. State attorneys did not want Petrie released, but a judge gave him house arrest. We called the chief judge for an explanation. A spokesperson told us that judges cannot comment on open cases because of ethics rules. Magazine wants accountability. So now to know that the system failed us and put him back into society, and he's free to prey either on me or even worse, members of the community that we're elected to represent on a platform of pub public safety, that is what is most frightening and disheartening to me. Standing next to Commissioner Magazine, the mayor of the city of Miami Beach, who is so fed up with what is happening. He says it's part of a trend of judges letting violent offenders out in Miami-Dade County. He's so fed up that he wants his own judges here for just this city alone. At 11, you'll see how that would work. We're live in Miami Beach. Larry Seaver, CBS News, Miami.